Wait, so people can say whatever they want? Yes. Oh, and let's give them guns. Lamau, this country is going to be lit. What's up, sexy? I'm Lexi, and welcome back to MK. Today is a new one even for me. Please give a warm welcome to r slash tripping through time. Let's get started. When you go to a gallery and discover you've not aged in 430 years. Huh, imagine the fortune you can make on skin cream. Mom, where do babies come from? Yeah, Mary, where do babies come from, huh? Ah. Uh, there I go, still writing BC on my checks. Being 28, 1019 BC, it was a good life. Thrice I had berries and once a pair. 1819, I have 14 kids. 2019, uh, I'm not ready for a relationship. I still eat Gushers and Lunchables. I, I don't know who let me, like, exist. Humans after inventing bread. You want to slice it up and cook it again? Lamau, yeah. Rabbits. In 1218, they walked upright. They were heavily armed. They had a severe no-nonsense attitude. And they kidnapped passersby for slavery or a ransom. But in 2018, they sneak about on all fours. They are unarmed. They have this timid, groveling attitude. And they live in cages and eat grass and carrots. Man, what happened? I'd like you to paint me a cat. A, a what? A cat. You do know what a cat is, right? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> the, the top right one. Looks like they used a dog as a model and just stapled a cat's face to it. And the bottom right one was early furry art, I'm pretty sure. The Catastrophe by Grutzner. 1892 oil on canvas versus Kevin spills his famous chili at the office 2009. Man, all artists steer from each other, I swear. Me, okay. I've complained enough about this, it's time to put it to rest. Me five minutes later. Actually, you know what? <laughs> All right, this is, <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying this subreddit. Women are so hard to read. Well, actually, we just want such complex creatures. If you just listen, so mysterious. <laughs> Shut the frack up. When you finally find your perfect man who just so happens to be an old millionaire with a heart condition. <gasps> oh, what a shame. Sits 27 hours for an oil painting. Oh my God, God, delete that. I'm serious, Bartholomew. Do not hang that in the Great Hall. <laughs> when you finally clean your Mesoamerican pyramid after a few months of feeling depressed. Ah, <sighs> such a lovely feeling. Time for sacrifices. I think I'm having a midlife crisis. You're 24. Am I tired at 48? When you're talking to someone and it feels like you chose the wrong dialogue option in a video game and you start to panic as you see their friendship meter dropping. <laughs> <laughs> the face, just the eyes. Oh my God, that's so accurate. Me, the least drunk. My friends trying to give me their McDonald's orders. You are not walking out of that McDonald's without spending a hundred bucks. We are all Edward Hopper paintings now. Oh, no, oh, oh. Yes, we are. I actually really like this art style. Danny DeVito offering God a nice egg during these trying times. Circa 1255. Always nice to see Danny DeVito doing good things with an egg. Life, crucial event at nine o'clock. Me, set the alarm for 6.30. Me at 8.50. Uh, I hate mornings. I'm so fat. No, you're beautiful. I said it was fat, not ugly. When you come out of the womb and realize your consciousness has been ripped from the void and placed into a flesh prison to suffer for years, then die. What's, what, what's, is this Nietzsche? Did Nietzsche just like, is, oh, I don't see a giant bushy mustache, but I, but, it, but I wouldn't be surprised. USA, France, help me. France, can't, I'm broke. USA, it's, it's against the British. France, me after a long day of being the funny friend. This is uncomfortably a mood and I don't like it. Isaac Newton demonstrating that going outside is gay. Circa 1670, a sound scientific theory that still holds true today. Being an old timey doctor would rule just drunk as hell and like, yeah, you got ghosties in your blood. You should do cocaine about it. <laughs> A surprising result. A pair of paintings by William Henry Hamilton Trode. Trude? Trode. British, 1848-1899. This dude spent like a year and a half painting a Victorian reaction gift. <laughs> Okay, I'm really liking this subreddit. <laughs> My mom, the Japanese waiter in a Japanese restaurant. Gracias. Oh, God. 
Do you have any books on turtles? Hardback? Oh yes, and tiny heads. God, when he sacrifices himself to himself to save mankind, uh, from himself. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Here, take a break from all the coronavirus memes and enjoy this painting. Good job, you just enjoyed a painting by Adolf Hitler. Well, crap. I think that my favorite thing to happen in art history is when a guy made a Lucifer ta statue that was too hot for church. So they commissioned his brother, who made an even hotter one. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Can you imagine how hot we would all have seemed like 600 years ago? Philip the Handsome, really? Guy has the facial proportions of a shoebox. When your hotel advertises free breakfast and it turns out to be an orange. Seriously? Shout out to this hustler who tried to sell merch at the crucifixion. <laughs> Get your Jesus here. Get him before he's gone. He'll be back in three days and then gone again. Habsburg family meeting. Okay, so heads. We go ahead with the strategical inbreeding. Tails, we don't. Flips coin. Well, that's that then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love this subreddit! Six-year-old me drinking apple juice from a fancy glass. No shame in this, no shame doing it now. When you die, but your cats still want to meow at you at 3 a.m. for food. <laughs> when you come home drunk and start lecturing your pets. <laughs> hey, they look like they're enjoying it. Joseph something, 1735 to 1802, was a French painter who is known primarily for his unorthodox self-portraits. <laughs> <gasps> oh, this is where the bottom left one goes. Oh, I've seen that before. Dude had perfect reactions. When mother calls you down to eat luncheon, but lo, she has once again played you for a fool. As the meal is not yet ready to be consumed, how could you have been so naive? I don't know, but this girl looks like seriously depressed. Monk. Just a normal little M, please. Scribe. I'm bored. Let's have some art. Mark is such a weirdly casual Bible name. Hi, I'd like you to meet my sons. Josiah, Hezekiah, and Bartholomew. Oh, over there? That's just Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Sup? God. What are they doing down there? Angel. Uh, they're making milk from almonds. God. What? I gave them like eight animals to get milk from. Angel, then. They don't like that milk. God. What? What in the ever? loving me. When Netflix freezes to ask if you're still watching and you see yourself reflected in the screen. <laughs> Accurate. Obama having a meal with various stages of Michael Jackson's. The when the US, sorry, when the US finds out Van Gogh used oil for his paintings. <laughs> oh, I love this so funny. The hardest prison to escape is in your mind. Um, okay. Use over time for oof. Oof, man, oof. Oofer gang. Oof, big oof. I've been oofed. Me overthinking everything in my life while everyone else is asleep. I don't like this, I'm in it. When the recently divorced Lady Bottom Cottage invites you over to her mansion to play billiards. But when you are alone, she exposes her ankle and reveals that she's only wearing five layers of undergarments. <sighs> Today, my five-year-old laughed at this painting in the middle of a museum for like six minutes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I would too. White people. East Asians all look the same. White people. Yeah. Picasso self-portrait at ages 18, 25, and 90. Gonna say it, Picasso did not age well. He just kept adding quarters. Cooking instructions, bake two pies in the sun for 90 minutes. Ah, thank you. The doctor after I pee in that little, oh God, no, no, no. Oh. When the current plague isn't your fault, yay. My playlist when I leave them on shuffle. <laughs> when he says poems and chill, and it really is poems and chill. Oh, how disappointing. Do you poor thing? Don't bring my financial status into this. The Soviet Chinese propaganda posters seem to be the story of a beautiful interracial gay couple who met in a metallurgical and got married and had beautiful children in a farm. Uh oh, oh, mm, okay. I wasn't looking at it that way, but now I can't unsee it. Me at 3 a.m. reading all 398 comments of two strangers arguing and Reddit. That's me on Twitter. That's me on Twitter. Interviewer. Why should we hire you as a reverse psychologist? Me. You shouldn't. Welcome aboard. Dude, stop looking at her. She's not worth your time. Look into my eyes. The tits are temporary. <laughs> the glory of Rome is forever. <laughs> 
God creates ocean. Humans, great, we won't be thirsty ever again. God adds salt to it. <laughs> He's usually so friendly, you must have scared him. Oh dear, that's gonna be a hefty insurance claim. Any idea to cure the plague? Pray to God. Kill the infected. Science. Uh. <laughs> when you're about to spend half a grand shopping online, but then you notice the $15 shipping charge. Not today. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I do. When the squad is heading home from the bar with that one friend who bought shots for everyone, but had one too many himself. Still a hero. Total BS that when Sleeping Beauty spends all day in bed, she's a beautiful princess. But when I do the same thing, I'm clinically depressed. God, standards are so dumb. How I sleep, knowing that I'm unimportant and nobody's priority. <laughs> ah. When you ain't paying 30 bucks for snacks at a movie theater. <laughs> Why are your pants so crinkly? Oh, no reason. When the DJ drops the thriller at the wedding. No mortal can resist. Michelangelo was only 24 years old when he completed the Pieta sculpture. The fact that he was a turtle made it 10 times more fascinating. When you've already typed something twice and your phone autocorrects it again. <sighs> I need a new quill. When you find the name of the song with just two words to go off of. Exactly. A well-structured argument to defeat a stranger on the internet. Oh no, a typo! Jesus walks into a bar. Just 12 waters, please. Winks at disciples. <laughs> ah. When you see a cute guide dog, but you can't pet it because it's a hardworking professional. <gasps> oh, very true. What 1900 people thought it would be like in the year 2000. Balloon supported lake walking. We've gone the wrong way. <laughs> when you're 30 minutes into an argument and realize you might be wrong. Mm, oh dear. An anti-electricity cartoon from the 1900s. This is how the some y'all look talking about 5G. As a network engineer, I can confirm 5G is perfectly safe. And those third arms are a feature, not a bug. When you and your friend argue and then Google confirms your dominant intellect. <gasps> oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for the friend, but yeah. Being prepared as a virgin sacrifice. Me, you're making a mistake. I do the sex all the time. Shaman stops his ritualistic chanting. Name the one who takes your your seed. Me. Your mother. Arrgh. Finding a date. Difficult and time consuming. Makes you feel vulnerable. Buying a sword. Fast and easy. You will not feel vulnerable. Someone might see you and think, who is this cool person with a sword? I'd like to have dinner with them. Yeah, there's a very thin line between that and, uh, I am trained in the ways of the blade, my lady. Ahem, the frack are you worshipping crosses for? What part of my story makes you think I like crosses? It's a prank, bro, Lamal, calm down, the camera's right there. Hey, I'm Ben. Do they still worship us, child? Well, I shouldn't in a box and they clean it. Good, good. I packed your lunch, son. I'm a grown man, ma. I put two fruit roll-ups in it. Oh, yes. Mmm, now I want fruit roll-ups. But that brings us to the end of r slash tripping through time, which is, oh my god, hilarious. And to round off this lovely episode, we have some wonderful fan art to show off. Today's fan art is brought to you by user Paintinator. This is my first time posting here. Hope you like it. Oh my god, I saw this. I think I commented on it too. It looks so rad. I look so snazzy. I'm so happy with that. Also, Robin's hat is freaking dashing. Thank you so much, Paintinator. And if you enjoyed this classical art memory, hit that like button. If you want to see more mocking of historical art, hit that red subscribe button. As always, my name is the Lexi Kitty, but y'all can call me Lexi. Have an absolute victorious day tomorrow. Stay safe, stay awesome, make more stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.